As with any kind of separation method, it will really depend on the type of conditions you're working with or maybe on the product specification that you need to achieve. So, yep, as with any kind of separation method, membranes are also subject to these analyses. Membranes processes have numerous advantages, but also encounter lots of disadvantages. So you can imagine uh, some specific cases are worth using membranes. In some other cases, might not be that worth. And in some other cases, will definitely be not convenient to operate membranes. So let us check out the common advantages on membranes. So because membranes processes can separate at the molecular level or let's say molecular scale, uh, this is a huge advantage because this will allow us to separate a vast amount of uh, molecules. For instance, uh, where is it? Macromolecules, micromolecules, ions, and so on. Membrane processes generally do not require a phase change with exception of pervaporation, but for now, let's assume that we are not going to be changing overall the phase. And this is great because typically change on phases will require a change on pressure or a drastic change on temperature, which typically requires either work or heat overall energy requirements, which are expensive. And the main advantage of the membrane is that you do not require such changes on phase. But, this might increase the energy requirement for pressurization. In some cases, the change in pressure is even greater than the energy that we will require for heating or cooling. Typically, we need to fix the pressure on the feed stream in order to drive the permeating components across the membrane. So we're going to encounter this a lot, especially when we're working with uh, a membrane that we need to fix and set up the pressure in order to achieve the separation or achieve the permeation. Membrane processes present basically a very simple setup. So that's also a great advantage. As I stated before, many of them come in cartridges. So once the equipment is installed, changing or the maintenance of the equipment is actually very easy. There are no moving parts, such as in a condenser, reboiler, or compressor. And there are no complex control schemes. You are not going to encounter very complicated controlling systems. Therefore, they can offer a simple installation, easy to operate, which I think is one of the best or easiest uh, or more convenient aspects of membranes, and also the low maintenance process, either low in activity or low in, let's say, complexity. Membranes can be produced with extremely high selectivities. That's also a great advantage. Not only is it going to be cheap to operate and install, but it's also very efficient for certain uh, processes. In general, the values of these selectivities are much higher than those typically uh, stated in conventional processes, such as distillation, technically speaking, uh, the volatility change, or maybe in gas absorption, the solubility change on the gas, and so on. This means that it may be convenient to eventually set up a membrane for that system. So if you know that you have a membrane which operates at relatively convenient conditions, it's not that extreme, and distillation is not uh, the best case scenario, definitely check out the membrane. Membrane processes are able to recover minor but valuable components from a mainstream. So this is also great. In some cases, in conventional equipments, you will simply ignore those small losses because the treatment of such stream will be expensive. But using membranes, we can see that we can do recovery of certain materials without uh, processing or without having problems with the large amount of processing. Membrane processes are potentially better for the environment. Well, this is actually a large claim, but overall, if you are using a uh, low amount of energy, by definition, you are not spending amount in heating and cooling. So that's also environmental fr uh, friendly. Also, membrane approach requires the use of relatively simple and non-harmful materials. So membranes per se are not that toxic or so. They are done on a common materials that you will encounter in, in engineering. And we're going to cover some materials in the following lectures. But for now, just assume that the type of material we use is very convenient for our operations. 
And these are the advantages on membranes. Let's check out some of the disadvantages.